guys okay this afternoon I'm going to be doing stone beam traces I'm using the streamer hooks it's a mustard hook that you, you get uh, it's a 2 extra heavy um, it's a long shank hook and the reason we use the long shank hook is sometimes with a light tackle um, the stone beam do bite you off and obviously I like to catch a big stone beam this is size 6 um, 10 kilo maxima ultra green and 5 kilo or 5.5 kilo um, hook snoot I've also got the loons uh, orange color um, not sense I've got a whole lot of the smaller oval shaped kingfisher floats that are actually cut in half as you can see I've got a whole lot done over here so we actually make them about that size so we actually get two out of one float I've also got a whole lot of other little colors, uh, they're little Innova floats, um, different colors, I've also just put them with, because these are two extra strong hooks, they are slightly heavier than the CZ86s that I normally use. Um, other than that, I've got, yeah, mustard scissors, and that's pretty much everything that I, I use. I've already made a whole lot here with my pool noodle, very important piece of equipment there. Start off with, I take my 10 kilo maxima and I make it about 1.5 meters in length that's the the main line and then obviously the hook snoot I've cut a whole lot already um, we make them about 20 to 30 centimeters in length to start off with what we're gonna do is take about 20 to 30 centimeters of maxima 10 kilo ultra green and we're tying in a figure of eight knots so how we do that as we do the first little granny knot we take the line through again for the second time so it's basically two granny knots and then we just pull it slightly tight there we go so now I've got a figure of eight that's formed I take my 5.5 kilo ultra green I go through the one little loop there remember not to pull it too tight pull it out and then I go through the opposite side over there I've got to find it quickly and we go through the loop there like that okay so that's pretty much what we've done give ourselves quite a bit to work with here now what I'm going to do here is basically do the figure of eight but instead of doing it three times I'm gonna do it four or five times one two three four five times take it back through and I pretty much just hold on to that little tag end like that and pull the figure of eight tight slowly you can see how it actually undoes itself nicely there form a long thin knot as you can see there I'm just going to lubricate slightly slide it down pull that little tag end and now what I do is I hold both pieces and pull tight okay take the tag end one which is the, where the hook is going to go the 5.5 kilo slide it closer again and there we go so that is basically a knot complete. I'm just going to cut off the tag end here. Now what happens with that is that the actual hook snoot, which is that part, comes out pretty much like that. Mm. And I'm just going to repeat the whole thing again. So I'm going to make it about 60 centimeters long. And I'm just going to tie my figure of 8 in it again. Here we go. So we go around once, twice, obviously that's in my main line, there's my figure of eight. I'm going to grab my 5.5 kilo maxima, stick it through, first little loop, and come out the second loop, like that. Okay, and again, just going to give myself enough to work with. One, two, three, four, 
five times over and under and back through and then what I'm going to do is just lightly pull the hook snooting part of it and you can see how nicely and just work slowly there's no rush still got about 16 days 17 days until the end of this so no rush whatsoever if we just pull that to where it should be pull that one tight now it's locked in place cut off the tag end okay so very simply that's the top and this is going to be my, my hook snoot about 30 centimeters in length i'm just going to snip that off i'm now going to take one of my little oval floats thread it through and to give it a bit more bling i'm going to take one of the little innova ones just to give it a little bit of a different color and a little bit more weight for my hooks because these hooks are quite heavy and strong and again i'm just taking a figure of eight there we go there's the figure of eight done slide it down like so and we're just gonna cut off the tag end and repeat the whole thing on the second part of it it's gonna be this part yeah there's long enough a little float there we go and i'll take hmm, what color can i oh, i'll take one of these little chartreuse ones let's take that on grab one of my little hooks again and basically just do that pull tight cut off the tag end then I take my Loon's UV Knot Sense. It's going to pretty much work the same as a gummy stop. But what it does is actually color in the white part over here. Make it a, an orangier color. And then we just take our top one and slide it on top. So it looks like a little snowman over there. It's not going to move. It's the right distance away. It's exactly where I want it to be. Grab a second one. Just repeat the whole process again you can use the the chartreuse green one if you'd like uh, in the loons range the stuff works very nicely for delicate work there we go and just to show you one that's already complete there we go guys there's one that's already dried and obviously the loons is activated by sunlight I'm going to do this. There's top part, and that'll be the bottom hook. The sinker will attach to that, and you can actually see how it comes out the knot. Okay, now what we do to store it is very simple. We just take our hook, and the one part of the hook, stick it into our pool noodle, and wrap it around the pool noodle. This just makes it so much easier for storage purposes. And get everything undone untangled here yeah? wait start again let's take that apart okay here we go so basically we just take it in wrap it around like so and we just carry on wrapping carry on wrapping we'll get to the second one this is there there we go, there we go, there we go. Take that one in. Wrap that tag in there. This tag in goes around here, like so. And all we do is we use a paper clip that we cut in half. Keep the two ends together and we just stick it in and there we go. So there's everything packed away, ready to go. Guys, enjoy making as many as you want. Pool noodles, like I say, always come in handy. 
my daughter lost her one that she normally uses because I'm using it now. And yeah, you've got a couple more days to make as many as you want. Cheers guys, enjoy your, uh, your stone bream traces.